All right, Paulie's not here to run the morning meeting. He's at Wrigley. Today, uh, who's running the meeting? I'm going to handle the duties, and I'm going to head over to the uh, big oh. screen over here. All right. Get in there. With Paulie Pabst uh, not here. We, I was wondering, and I'm sure you guys were as well, he said that he was leaving yesterday for Chicago, but he didn't have tickets. Yeah. We were wondering what the different scenarios might be. Obviously, if he's able to get a ticket, there he is. He's going to be with all the uh, ladies and gentlemen rooting on the Cubbies in a, a historic Game 3 at Wrigley Field. If this doesn't work out, and for some reason, what's the next best thing? Hang out at a local sports bar. The Cubby Bear, whatever. There's all kinds of cool places. Harry Carey. Murphy's. Murphy's. They'll find a cool place. Then it starts getting a little ugly. If a member of the police force sees Paulie trying to work out, and you know how he likes to wheel and deal, he could get busted at Wrigley trying to uh, buy a ticket illegally, and then Paulie in prison, which I personally would find hilarious, but it would be kind of disappointing. <laughs> Being the big Cubs fan that he is, you know, now he's got a criminal record, he's in jail, he's got a wife and two kids, and it'll be a great story. I'm sure they're all excited to share it Monday about his experience in jail, but this is not where he wants to be tonight for game three. How, <laughs> how much time did you spend preparing this? I, I, as soon as I knew Paulie may be going to Chicago, which was like several weeks ago, I started mapping out how wow. uh, I would uh, put this together. I think it came out okay. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Right. I tried. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.